So on this Feast of the Transfiguration, we, uh, you know, I'm drawn to uh, Paul's, uh, in Paul's letter to the Corinthians, where he says, since it is by God's mercy that we are engaged in this ministry, we don't lose heart. And for Paul, the heart is this, you know, for in the biblical kind of the, that worldview, the heart is the seat of kind of will and decision is where endurance comes from. It's kind of your grit. Um, and so we use, you know, we use heart in some something of the same way as well. And we don't, in a sense, we can remain, we can remain in persistent in ministry. We can endure in the life that Jesus Messiah calls us to, which um, in a sense, when it, you know, this sounds this sounds harsh when he says that <clears throat> if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. That we that the Im that the glory of Christ is the image of God. What he's specifically talking about is that you know if, if it's veiled to those who cannot see uh, God crucified on a cross, they they cannot. They cannot wrap their heads around the power of suffering love, right? that they cannot see the, the mercy and the forgiveness poured out in a powerless Messiah. That's what veils their eyes. That is, you know, in a sense, God's mission to the world and his mercy is veiled in the crucified body of Jesus given for the love of the world. And so as we follow the, the, the life way set out for us by a crucified Messiah, by a um, silent and suffering God, we, uh, we need God's mercy as we uh, suffer with the world. We're called to be in solidarity, suffering ourselves on behalf of a world uh, that needs the good news of God's love in Jesus. That when we reflect the glory of God, and become transparent to that love, that that will involve uh, um, a solidarity with pain, that will involve sacrifice, a, a letting go of privilege, that all those things are gonna require God to have mercy on us and to give us the strength we need. You see, mercy is not just about, um, you know, relenting on a justly deserved punishment. That's only one part of what mercy means. Mercy is really um, an intervention on behalf of the vulnerable. Mercy is an intervention on behalf of those in need so that we can have mercy. That's why it means for us to be merciful is for us to intervene in the lives of those who are in need. And so we give thanks. We can continue. We can persist in this ministry because we know that God has mercy on us. And therefore, we can continue in the ministry of suffering love. Amen. Let us say a reading from St. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. Since it is by God's mercy that we are engaged in this ministry, we do not lose heart. We have renounced the shameful things that one hides. We refuse to practice cunning or to falsify God's word. But by the open statement of the truth, we commend ourselves to the conscience of everyone in the sight of God. And even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. In their case, the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For we do not proclaim ourselves. We proclaim Jesus Christ as Lord and ourselves as your slaves for Jesus' sake. For it is the God who said, let light shine out of the darkness, who has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.